Hello friends, Alex Machado talking here. I would like to share with you some some tweaks, some ideas using the Reaper as a doll. Okay, um, <clears throat> the Reaper, in my opinion, works way better than other um, other programs like Son or, or something like that, because here we got full control of everything so let's see when you uh, first um, start your reaper this is what you see okay if you click double click up here you got the the settings of your audio system I suggest you to use all Asia. When I hook up the Podex tree, I use it. When not, right now, for example, the, the Podex tree is not turn it on. I use the Asia for all. Okay. Then you choose the sample hey rate, and uh, um, you can choose. Uh, you know the samples um, so you you have uh, no longer a big latent, uh, latency right so um, as soon as you put it there when I'm going to uh, make a brand new music I go right and to insert virtual instrument and I, I got the broomstick base, uh, this thing, and um, the easy drummer, the tune thread, uh, the DF8 sample. That's what I use. Here, well, and one very interesting thing is that I can choose between having uh, eight or um, uh, except. Uh, actually um, eight tracks stereo you know or having just two I use it with only two to work a simple uh, uh, stereo config but if you are thinking about uh, here we have the the track all the 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 the, the pieces are going to the same track if you uh, click on yes at the previous uh, screen you got eight uh, different stuff to worry about so this is the main screen as long as you turn on the easy drama you see here uh, it charging this first one is the pop rock and it's uh, very heavy so um, doesn't matter it sounds really nice if you click it gives you the sound okay if you open your mixer well, let's let's first open the grooves you get a uh, different settings here I got the pop rock which is already open and uh, I have different sets here I have the cocktail to play Brazilian music let's wait a little bit more Okay, works nice to play Brazilian stuff. And uh, here I got the drum kit from Hell. It's one of the most famous kits. You have that killer and hard rock and heavy metal um, drum sound. Here we got uh, some different settings 
different uh, kinds of uh, of each piece of the kit and I also have here the vintage rock which is a very interesting setting set to use a you know vintage rock bands so got a AC30 to represent how a beetle this can be so this is a very nice setting but I'll, I'll leave that at okay let's leave it the vintage rock doesn't matter it's charging here and then down here we got on this control there is a very important to be always turn it on it's called it humanize this uh, makes the sound uh, more human and what does this uh, do is uh, it takes all the MIDI notes that you've wrote in, written and uh, then it plays in some different velocities so it's a very tiny difference but it, it gives you a more natural sounding so uh, let it uh, turn it on always uh, we also have here so this is the the sound of it okay it's already done okay we can open the grooves here we got it and I have uh, some uh, 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 libraries of each set this is a very interesting thing because I can choose the vintage rock library and play uh, a, a groove from built for, from it but I can choose any any other one I can get here the drum kit from hell and play metal with this with this drum but let's first choose the vintage rock we got some um, different uh, sounds here I really like this um, shuffle and uh, the groove one gives you that sound Okay, so here we got all the variations, all the feels, and everything you may need, it's just right here. So let's choose this groove three with hats closed, sounds like this. it playing and let's open the mixer here we got some settings some presets for example this is the default post building let's listen to it completely dry you see or roomy so we got some variations Very nice. Of course, you can uh, uh, use the fader to to increase or decrease any piece of your set. Okay, and uh, you can uh, turn on and off the snare uh, bottom part and the overhead, which are those microphones that hit the you know overhead and the room, anything. So, um, as long as you have it, for example, you like it this, you just drag and drop to your uh, timeline, it's that easy. I I'm gonna put this just to start it, okay. 
and the groove one heads close it over there and then you can close it I can go here and use you know control C then control V and copy anytime I want it so that's your sound to increase that sound I, I usually, usually use um, the wave hammer from Sunny Sound Forge. This is a very interesting thing. You can open other programs inside of it. Of course, the sonar and the other dolls can do it uh, anyway. Uh, but what did I do is I I've copied two settings. Uh, from the the sound forge that I, I usually like to use using the wave hammer and I copy it to here so this master I'm gonna bring it this master for 16 bit I use it at the master uh, um, track and the smooth comp I use for all the instruments so these are the settings I just copy it it's not my idea okay so let's hear it it gives you a more compressed sound here at uh, the master I use the wave hammer again but now with the preset master for 16 bit okay and I add another that is um, Rhea comp Rhea X comp that's this this is a, a it's an incredibly nice compressor this comes with Reaper you get a compressor that it's divided for the frequencies this is a, a incredibly nice because without having a compressor that have a, a, without giving to the compressor all the frequencies it is uh, divided for um, you know four uh, different frequencies and then make it makes the compression I use this this, this uh, spectra control I think it works very nice the sound it's very clear this is your um, chain effect chain I use the wave hammer at the end okay what comes up comes uh, uh, earlier so the wave hammer would be the last and this is the sound very important uh, important thing as long as I put it the compressors you don't see uh, the red lights anymore that's the compressor I'm working so this is the first part I wait to you at the second part when I'll be talk about uh, the broomstick bass see you there